We've done worse. We yeah, have, of course. Yes. Yeah, you left Carmen at the altar. You dated that vampire. Oh, oof. I left you for Carrie. It's okay. I slept with Candace in jail. Oh, we're talking about bad things that you've done? Well, Gen Q, you made this terrible fucking episode. I do not even know where to fucking begin with the season finale, possible series finale of the Our Generation Q season three. In a word, awful, fucking horrendous, terrible, no good, bad, absolutely, unanimously terrible. I cannot understand anything about this episode, why we're here, why they did this. The only thing I do understand is why they didn't promote this because Jesus Christ, I wouldn't want to promote it. It was so bad. Everything about it was bad, except for the minuscule, minuscule, minuscule little Ben and Tina content, the tiny, and the Alice and Shane stuff, and Tasha, that was it, the OGs. So basically the only thing that Gen Q hasn't had to do, because they, the OGs were there, they came into this, and Gen Q, after three seasons, has accomplished absolutely nothing, except for cringe. I mean, okay, let's let's just break it down because I need to get this get this off my chest. I currently am at my sister's. I have flown seven thousand miles to watch this episode on Sunday at the Semi Tropic, and I'm I'm regretting decisions. I have put a lot of time and energy into this show and for what? And I've spent a lot of money on tickets to come here to watch this episode again. Not 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 real comfortable with those decisions right about now. And also because I'm not my sisters, my sister um her husband watched the episode with me and boy do they have thoughts because my sister basically 15 minutes in was like questioning my sanity that I was watching and spending 50, 60 hours a week talking about the show because it was so bad that she couldn't understand why I was watching it. And I said to her like, oh, this is weird. It's, be it's, it's really bad. And she was like, yeah. And then she couldn't understand why basically at the beginning of the episode I'd said like, oh, this is Bettina, Tina, they're our favourites, and Alice and Shane, and blah blah, and I explained about Danny and Gigi too. And she said, I don't get why it's those two characters wedding, but you're not seeing them. And also it keeps cutting away to this other, and then she pointed at Micah and Maribel, this other couple who are in like an entirely different show, which, I mean, could she really have put it better? She's never seen an episode of the show and yet she, that's what she thinks. So you have someone who's seen every episode and talks about the show incessantly, someone who's never seen it and they're drawing the same fucking conclusion. Does that not tell you something? Everything about this, except for basically the OG's hands in it, was horrendous because Leisha Haley directed like Kate did last week. She killed it, she did great, but I do definitely understand why now they have come out and said the edit was completely changed to what we saw because also, as I've said, I get told what's what's gonna happen or I see scripts or I see something but it's based on when the episode is written and then when it's filmed I don't get told like oh they're taking this out or oh they're gonna change this or that like I see the script and I hear what's filmed so there is a fuck ton that was taken out of this episode but Tina, Alice and Shane wise 
And there's probably even more stuff that I don't know about because even Leisha and Kate were talking about like an improv scene that they cut out. So this all somewhere is all being just put in like storage bins. There's so much stuff this season that's been cut out that was great stuff, but no, no, we must have more room for more cringe. The test stuff, awful. Awful. Every bit of it, awful. The daddy stuff, awful. Awful, awful, awful. Hated it. Roxy, Dre, awful. Don't want, don't like anything about it. And you know what was even worse, even more awful? Which I called the one fucking throwaway line, like she doesn't matter. Oh, Gigi and Nat are back together. I said it yesterday. I said, I bet you, the second I saw that interview that Jess did with Marja, I said it to Jess on the phone. I said, watch, there'll be one line that just basically is like, oh, Gigi, oh yeah, Gigi and Nat, like it would, that was what it was gonna be. And that was what it was because this show is so predictably bad. It's bad. And I just cannot keep defending or giving them the benefit of doubt, whatever it is, because the only thing that I connect to, are drawn in by, want to watch the show, is Jennifer, Laurel, Leisha, and Kate. It's all their decisions because they're, Jennifer's literally writing the fucking shit for them. She's writing it for them. And then Leisha and Kate, they're directing, they're doing improv, they're tweaking their life. And I know they are because other people who work on the show have told me that they're very involved in everything. So take away them, which seems to be what's happening. And we're left with, we're, we're just left with absolute crap, honestly. I, I cannot describe to you how, I feel like it's just everything added together, like over the past few years, like I gave them so many chances. No, nobody can, can say, oh, you did give a, a, a good enough chance. Like, I have been the most positive, like, giving them chance after chance, like, r actively rooting for them. And this is how they, they repay that, like, by literally putting out some of the worst worst television I have ever seen and they did this last season too in episode nine we got that Bet Tina Alice and Shane scene and uh, Tina also at the hospital was like oh are you still in love with me and then we we got episode 10 last season which was absolutely fucking horrendous too and the only thing really that people talk about now is the cliffhanger because the episode was so bad but this just takes the cake. I mean, you have four characters that have been on TV for 20 years. The L word has meant so much to me over these 20 years. And this episode honestly felt like someone walked up to me and said, oh, you like the L word? Spat in my face, punched me in the stomach, and kicked dirt in my eyes and gave me the finger and walked off. That's exactly what watching this episode was like. What kills me even more, even more, is that they hyped the shit out of this episode and told me, I was on set for the table read, and they told me from then, oh, this episode is amazing, it's drama, it's this, it's that, it's so fun. And they told me like, oh, there's people you'll never see coming, we knew Chrishell and G-Flip were going to be in it. And I wouldn't really describe them as like some bit, you know what I mean? Like, that. my sister actually was like, oh, that's Chrishell. But I, who else? I, I mean, Eileen and stuff was there, but like, I, I did guess that was going to happen. But what an absolute mess. 
I, I need, need to know what you guys think because now I'm like, was it just so bad for me? Am I going crazy? Like, please, please, please let me know down below. Obviously, I'm going to go into way, 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 way more detail about all of this and I'll be doing a live on Saturday with Jess. I'll be doing drinks at Dana's too and then I also will have like a more in-depth video like going over the Bentina stuff and well, that's probably it because I don't want to see the rest of the stuff again. But yeah, in a nutshell, the Bentina stuff, but... It was so minuscule that it just really didn't feel like anything. Or because sometimes if there's a really good Bentina stuff and like Danny and Gigi or something, I can write off the rest of the episode and just like not, you know, like fast forward it. That's it. And my sister too was like, "How are you fast forwarding? Like that you're supposed to be reviewing a show." And I was like explaining about Micah and Mary Bell because she was like, "Yeah, that it's so bad." And like they're. It, they're in a completely different show so there's so much stuff I'll, I'll, I will go into depth so make sure you're subscribed because please just I cannot cope with this anymore please <laughs> subscribe make sure hey it would really help if you liked this video so that we can show people are angry if they're liking a review that's saying this. <laughs> also follow me on social media and again I will be doing more videos based on this so as always make sure to stay safe take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one bye guys